Hey guys, it's Excel Gaming back again with a new video. In today's video, I'll show you how you guys can fix why was unable to verify your game. So it's it will just take five minutes of your time to fix this silly error. Go to Scheme and go to CSV properties, local files, verify integrity of game files. So it might take two minutes Steam to validate the Steam files of this game. Just wait for that to happen. Till then, hit that subscribe button. It, it will help you. And yeah, if you want more informative videos as well, don't forget to hit, hit that subscribe button and watch my old videos as well. So, once this is done, we'll just open the other files which are needed. Okay, so open, open up Windows C program files x86 steam and then bin and then search for steam service dll not dll then you need another file location that's windows c program files x86 common files and then steam you'll see steam services dot dll over here as well this will be our second step, but we have to wait until Steam has validated those files. And let me know in the comment section below if this method works for you or not, because I've did this, I've tried this method many times in other IDs as well. And I even shared this method with my friends and they said it worked perfectly fine for them. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you have any other issues as well. I'll make sure to solve them. The next thing we got to do after this is open up task manager and search for Steam services if it's on. And in my case, I've turned it off, I guess. Yeah, it's Steam client services. We'll wait for this to happen first and then we end this task. The speed of Steam validating your files depends on your computer speed. Mine is a little bit slow, that's why it's taking a lot of time. You might be faster, so it will not take this much time. So yeah, all files successfully validated. And if there's any <coughs> missing files, Steam would <coughs> sorry, tell you to add them over there as well. So yeah, close it. Close this, close Steam. Now we'll go to Task mas Task Manager and we'll search for Steam Client Service and we'll end its task. Okay, once it's done, close Task Manager and we'll open the two files which I told you before. It's so you need to copy Steam Service DL from Steam bin and paste it in common files steam and just replace the file and continue so yeah you see it's done over here now what you gotta do right now is fire up steam again and your once you play play over here It's running an install script. That's what we needed over here. See, the performing first time setup. Installing Microsoft DirectX for Windows. Yeah, now this, once this pops up, congratulations guys. Now that issue 
has been totally solved. So yeah, if this method helped you a little bit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video and comment down if this worked for you or not. And if there's something else I can help you up with, don't forget, don't hesitate to comment down below. I am Xkill Gaming and I am signing out. Peace.